Hi everyone! In this video I'll be showing you how to go from the default heads up display or HUD that looks like this to something like this all opened up and ready to go. And I'll also be showing um, how to rearrange your HUD and everything on the ground but we'll get to that after I finish up with space. So uh, let's get through the things that you can do here before rearranging your HUD. So there's two things that you can do. First, as you notice, um, the powers um, control for um, for default is all closed up compared to what I just showed that is all opened up. So of course, with this, you can shoot your power set to attack with 100 per powered weapons, 50 and 25. Uh, for shield, engine, and auxiliary, or you can set it to defense, or for speed, or of course balanced, with everything set to 50. If you click 2, you get to see the powers, but that's about it. It's pretty similar to 1. Now if you open it up to 3, that's where the magic starts happening. Now, you can set the powers however you like, and also lock them. For example, let's say I don't need that much um, engine power or auxiliary power. Now I can set um, attack power to 100 while still having a pretty high engine power of, uh, I mean, a uh, shield power of 70. And now you can also save it. So, for example, when you click back to attack, it's set back to what you want them to be set at. Of course, you can also press reset, which will just bring them back to default values. So back to 25, 25, 50, and 100. So uh, this is the best you want for power control. Now over here, um, for your big tray, you can have up to 10 rows. Of course, that's quite a clutter, and I, um, during endgame, usually use up only 3 of them. And for uh, row number four, which is default key ship, I usually have my bridge officer uh, bridge officer ability set to them, so I don't need a fourth row to look at. Of course, if you don't want to see your bridge officer, you can also set it to uh, oh sorry, you can also also set it to four trays with um, the tray numbers one to four. Of course, you can change these up as much as you want. So let's put it back to three. All right, now let's head into a rearrangement of of the HUD. So you can start that by clicking the game menu button, or press the escape key, which is default, and do rearrange HUD. We'll just click the space button. Now, you can set these wherever you want. And you can also click shift and escape together to reset their positions and sizes. So sizes as in you can change however large you want them to be on some of them. Like you don't want to make them out that big, but <laughs> that was just for demonstration. Also, some of them you can hide if you want to. And of course, like I said, if you want to hide your bridge officers, you can do that too. But something that uh, most people may not know is that you can have another tray. There's a new button here on the big personal tray number one. And now you have another one that you can move wherever you want. I usually put mine right about here. And on big tray number two, you can have as many rows as you want as well. Of course, that's just messy, but if you play that way, I'll power to you. So for me, as I said, I like my um, row number 4 set to bridge officer abilities. So I usually move up to 5 and put whatever clickable abilities that I usually don't have to use immediately there. So I can still use my keys to control everything here, while um, the, yes use, uh, the last few powers can be put to 5. All right, let's jump into ground and we'll continue there. All right, so uh, on ground, you have access again to 10, um, 10 trays, uh, tray rows, but you can only access three at a time. 
Not that you would need that many, because why would you have... You don't have that many abilities to use on ground, but... Yeah, if you need them, of course, just click up, or four, or whatever row you need. And by end game, I usually use three, but uh, as a, this is a new starter character that I created just for this demonstration. Of course, there's these two buttons for switching weapons, or um, holstering and drawing your weapon. But of course, there's the H for holstering uh, weapons by default P, and of course Z for switching weapons. So now let's jump into uh, rearranging HUD. So again, it's the same thing, you can resize anything you want. Press the creep and shift to reset everything. Move anything you want. Now the power the powers trait is attached to the weapons um, display, which is the little square here. But there's no real need to separate them. Whoops, I kept something hidden. <laughs> and of course, after you're done, uh, you're, after you're done with everything, you can press escape again to go back to re regular play. All right, so that's it for uh, unlocking and rearranging a HUD. Um, I hope you enjoyed and found this interesting. Please subscribe and ring the, no the notification bell to be notified of future videos. And it helps me quite a lot. And it's free, so why not? <laughs> And uh, I have a Patreon now, link in the description, and uh, if you want to support me that way, then uh, thanks for watching, I wish you all success, see you guys next time, bye!